All right, guys, this is Brian Phelps, and uh, today I wanted to uh, demonstrate or create a quick tutorial for you guys and just show you guys how to print your screen, how to capture. What I mean by that is if I go to brianphelps.net, and if I want to just uh, be able to copy everything that's on this uh, computer screen, basically take a snapshot and uh, create a picture uh, or a photo and be able to label it you know into a in a, in a Microsoft Paint or if you're using a Mac you know whatever program you got for that to to label and uh, edit your photos so uh, first of all I'm, I'm using Firefox and uh, I know on Firefox you can if you go to view and zoom you can zoom in and out by uh, pressing control plus or control minus um, so if I go on to my computer computer keyboard and press control minus I can zoom out and uh, by doing that I can I can um, capture more of my screen when I print my screen so you can kinda you can get this how you want it you can zoom in or zoom out depending on what you wanna uh, take a screenshot of and uh, I guess for this demonstration what I'll do is just take a screenshot of my website here and um, I'll zoom in one more there you go and uh, basically how to print your screen is uh, I'll show you what my keyboard looks like this is what my keyboard looks like here on my laptop and there's this little function it is called print screen it says PRT SC up here underneath the home I don't know how it's gonna be on your keyboard but it usually says print screen and I'll zoom in on that for you and show you what it looks like there it is PRT SC that's print screen and uh, see how it has this little box around it that means that is this it's the second function it's the FN key so this key right here and I'll zoom in down here. Nope. All right. This FN key right here, you gotta hold that down uh, while you press the uh, print screen key. So I'll demonstrate that for you guys. So you hold that FN key down, and you push that print screen. Uh, that's what I have to do, uh, and to uh, print my screen. So I'll do that. So I'll hold down the FN and then print screen. And now what I can do is just open up a paint program, Microsoft Paint. And now if I push Control V, which is pasting, now you can see that I pasted what I printed um, or what I cop copied or captured, whatever, however you want to say it. So now that is my. Now if I press Escape, I just got I was able to unselect everything. So there you go. I got a photo of my whole, my basically what I, everything that I was seeing on my computer screen. Now this is good to uh, demonstrate things or kind of label things or create tutorials. Now I can resize this if I wanted to, uh, or just highlight a specific area uh, what I'll do is I'll go to file select all and I'm just gonna drag this up here and just kinda uh, just demonstrate a little a little bit for you here and what I can do with this and if I go back, back down to the right hand corner see that little blue box right there that's that's your uh, photo that's how big your image is right now so if I drag that up here um, and put it wherever I want to. Now, I got a cool little photo that just kind of says, you know, it's just demonstrating whatever you have on your screen. So if you're making tutorials, and uh, if I wanted to even make this smaller, I can go to zoom or image resize. I want to resize it by let's say seventy percent. Horizontal and vertical, 70%. Okay. Now if I want to pull this down, just grab that little blue box here. Pull it down. Uh, 
and then like if I wanted to put a label around it do a rectangle and pick a color like this or if you want to do red I'll do one do go red and you know what I'm just gonna label I'm just gonna put a a red box around my opt-in form here and I'll go to pencil why not pencil sure oh let's try let's try a line here we go a line so now If I make a line going down there like that, and now I can just make a text. I'll try some text to make it black. And I'll put this is my opt in form. Now you can sign up to um, receive or you can sign up to get valuable info. Okay. And what I can do is just make, change the font of this. If I go to 22, that's a little bit too big. 18, but I can I can make this this area bigger. So and I can ch also change the uh, the the text type, the font. And I'll just go to Franklin Gothic heavy. I like that one and there you go now I kinda labeled that so I'm oh I just deleted everything I did so let's try that again this is my app in form I'll just leave it at that Please sign up. <laughs> so please sign up for my opt. -in. Please sign up for my newsletter. And then right click and it, and it saves that for you. Last time I pushed escape and that's why everything went away. Now if I select this, I can just move it wherever I want to. So now what I'm going to do is pick on red go to that box again and now um, I can just just put an outline around it so there you go now I labeled uh, that photo and now I can insert that into you know my website or or whatever I just wanted to show you guys how to print your screen and how how you were able to capture what you were seeing on your computer screen so again that's just a, a print screen function so and then I'll save this save as and you can either do JPEGs or PNG files I like to do PNG files if I'm putting them on the on the uh, internet. So I'll just do print screen. So that's that's how to print screen, and then uh, we'll save this for you guys just to show you what it looks like when we're done. I'll save it on my desktop. Now I got this print print screen image right there. 
So there you go. I printed my screen, everything I saw on my computer, I labeled it, and um, now you guys can uh, insert this into your websites or do whatever, do whatever you want with it. Um, make tutorials. Uh, so, anyways, uh, hope uh, hope this guy's helped you out. Um, this is Brian Phelps and Be the Miracle, and I will see you soon.